My name is Sarah Rutledge, and this is my Art 100 presentation. I hope by the end of my presentation, you will have a better understanding of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist painters from the 20th century. The topic that I have chosen for my art presentation is about which Impressionist and Post-Impressionist painters were most influential to modern artists of the 20th century. I will be sharing how each of the artists were influential. Claude Monet is the first artist I will discuss. He was an Impressionism artist or painter. In the art textbook, he is described as the most fervent follower of Impressionist techniques. His canvas, Impressionism, titled Sunrise, was created in 1872. It gave the art movement Impressionism its name. It depicts the port of Le Havre in France. This is where Monet grew up. This painting represents the renewed strength and even the beauty of the country. The mediums Monet used was an oil on canvas and oil paints. This painting inspired by the epithet Impressionist when it was exhibited at the first Impressionist exhibition in 1874. The warm blanket of the atmosphere envelops the figures. Their significance have paled in the wake of nature's beauty. The dissolution of surfaces and the separation of light into its spectral components remain central to Monet's art. The sun was placed against the sky with orange and blue violet contrast. He did this because it was a misty and foggy morning on the harbor. This painting is located in Paris, France at the Musée Marmiton. In the next few slides, I will be going over post-impressionist painters and discussing each artist and how their paintings and themselves were influential in the 20th century. Paul Cezanne is the first or the second artist I will discuss. He was influential because he is credited with having led the revolution of abstraction in modern art. He was not just a post-impressionist artist, he was also a French artist. Paul shared with Seurat an intellectual approach to painting. His method for accomplishing this radical departure from tradition did not disregard the old masters. Cezanne's oil on canvas painting titled Still Life with Basket of Apples was created in 1895. He painted this because his interest was not in objects themselves but in using them to experiment with shape, color, and lighting. This painting is noticed widely for its disjoint perspectives. Cezanne's painting has a realistic representation to create multiple perspectives. The mediums he used were fine oil paints, dull colors, and solid brush strokes. His innovations include a structural use of color 
and brushwork that appeals to the intellect and a solidity of composition enhanced by an application of pigment that delights the senses. This painting was a drastic collapsing of space. He focused on solids as well as on the void spaces between two objects. I think that Paul Cezanne's painting is very innovative. And this painting, Still Life with Basket of Apples, is located in Chicago, Illinois at the Art Institute of Chicago. The last artist I will be discussing is Vincent Van Gogh. He is one of the most tragic and well-known figures in the history of art. He was also a post-impressionist artist and is one of the most celebrated artists in the world. Goh's painting titled Starry Night was created in 1889 and is one of the most famous paintings ever. It is still discussed and talked about today. Some people believe this painting is about mortality. It was painted on an oil on canvas and the mediums that he used were oil paints, linseed oil, and the use of paintbrushes and a palette knife. He typifies the impression of the mad artistic talent. Only one of Goh's paintings was sold during his lifetime. He was only an artist 10 years before his death. His career began in the dark manner of the Dutch Barquay only to adopt the Impressionist palette and brush stroke after he settled in Paris with his brother Theo. In this painting, Starry Night, an ordinary painted record of a sleepy val valley town is transformed into a cosmic display of swirling fireballs that assault the blackened sky and command the hills and suppresses to undulate to their sweeping rhythms. The brush stroke is at once restrained and dynamic. The strokes define the forms, but they also create the emotionalism in the work. The 11 stars in this painting represent a biblical meaning and are seen as a reference to Joseph. The painted cypress trees were intentionally there because they are associated with death and cemeteries. This painting, Starry Night, is located at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, New York. I also chose a quote by Vincent Van Gogh. He wrote this in a letter to his brother Theo, and it reads, I paint as a means to make life bearable. Really, we can speak only through our paintings. I believe that Go wrote this to his brother because he felt as if he was a constant burden on him, and he also suffered from epilepsy and mental illnesses. Since Go did not start painting until really late in his life, painting may have been the only way for him to express his feelings and let others know just how important his paintings were to him. People have described his painting as coming to life and being able to see the actual story behind it. In conclusion, each artist that I have discussed brought their own personal convictions to light through their paintings. The interpretation by mankind on a global, international, and regional scale is replicating the ability to connect vision and language. Claude Monet influenced the world in many ways. Impressionism got its name from the title of his most recognized painting, which was Sun Sunrise, that I discussed. 
His impact on modern art is tremendous. The colors, the attitude, and the uniqueness of his paintings are amazing. Vincent van Gogh wrote this. Paul Cezanne helped lay the foundation for the, tra for the transition from the 19th century to the 20th century. He found new ways of representing nature. Vincent van Gogh had a really powerful influence on the development of the modern painting and he ins inspired and still inspires many people today to become artists. My name is Sarah Rutledge. Thank you for listening to my presentation on a few of the most influential Impressionist and Post-Impressionist painters during the 20th century. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is my works cited page.